Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play WWF Royal Rumble for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. We've already done the tag team, triple tag team in Brawl modes, and there's only one more thing left to do, and that is the Royal Rumble. And I'm actually going to do two of them, one on Super Nintendo, one on Sega Genesis for your Royal Rumbling pleasure. And I'm going to start off by playing the Super Nintendo version with Yokozuna. It was apparently from Polynesia instead of Japan. Not sure if they messed it up on accident or if they accidentally broke kayfabe, but he has been billed as being from Japan on actual WWE programming. Just saying. Now, the camera is centered on the ring at all times. And as you're soon about to see, we're going to have more than four guys in the ring at one time. The gang can only have up to six at any given moment. There are no pinfalls, there are no countouts, and the only way to win is to toss all your opponents or have them all tossed over the top rope and be the last man in the ring. Do not let the same thing happen to you, otherwise you will be eliminated. You do not get to play as somebody else. Now thankfully, there is no referee, so you're free to do uh, eye gouges and choke outs with the shoulder buttons. X and Z on the Genesis, or A and C and A and B, if you have a three-button controller on that. And it is a little easy sometimes to accidentally get yourself disoriented and not know where you are and just bumble around aimlessly, kind of like Smash Brothers. So just pay attention to where you're at. Be sure to keep an eye on your energy meter too, so that way it doesn't go all the way empty. Because if it goes all the way empty, you're probably going to get tossed out. Now you've probably noticed a tie-up meter, which I have failed to even explain, all throughout the Let's Play, at least to the best of my knowledge. Here's how it works. When you and, you and an opponent get in a tie-up, this little gray bar shows up. This little multicolored area grows and shrinks as you mash the buttons. And the more color that you have on your side of it, the more likely you are to get the jump on your opponent and do a body slam or a backbreaker or an Irish whip or any of those tie-up moves. If your opponent gets you into one, mashed buttons, and you should be able to break free. Easy on Super Nintendo, but again, easier said than done on Sega Genesis. Why am I mentioning this now? Well, sometimes, in the Royal Rumble, you may grab onto a weakened opponent, and the tie-up meter will be glowing green around the outline. When that happens, the opponent is weak enough to be tossed out of the ring. Best way to toss your opponent out of the ring in such a fashion, you want to have your back against the ropes and start a tie-up. You want to tie up with your opponent. From there, you want to keep mashing Y, along with a bunch of other buttons, but mostly why. And when you do the hip toss, instead of the Irish whip that you usually would do, you will toss the opponent out of the ring. Once they're out of the ring, they won't be on screen anymore, and they'll basically be gone. As the match goes on, this will be a little easier. It definitely helps if you let the other opponents do the work for you. And eventually, you'll be able to toss everyone out with ease. As for having your back against the ropes and trying to do the hip toss across the ring with Y, which is B and C or A on a three button controller. No, wait, it is A on Genesis. I'm getting my Genesis controls confused now. I don't even know why I'm doing that. Yeah, it's A on the Genesis controller. That's the only real way you can toss your opponent out of the ring. I'm pretty sure you can knock them off of the turnbuckle as well. I know it can be done on WWF Raw, which was the sequel to this. Not sure about this game. Somebody let me know in the comments if you, that actually can be done. I'm pretty sure it can. I've never actually tried it. And 
probably do that to knock them off to the outside of the ring too. You can actually keep away for a little while from the rest of the opponents, but one of them will eventually focus on you and you'll have to deal with them. I mean, I'm doing that right now, and so far it's kind of working, and I'm able to actually get some people tossed out. At this point in the Rumble, we are now down to the final four. We got Yokozuna, me, we got Crush, we got Lex Luger, we got Razor Ramon. And there goes Crush. We're now down to the final three. Let's let these two go at it, and if one of them goes after me, so be it. And apparently they're both going after me. Great! Of course, he hasn't been weakened yet. I may be t t tossing Lex Luger out first, but... Well, we'll see. I know I win this, even though... Because I'm doing this in post-commentary, but still. That's just how it feels with this mode. I actually like this mode. I can just keep going with my usual punch-punch, and then... I can actually do a uh, choke out. And there's that green outline I was talking about. Once I toss him over the ropes, he's gone. And Yokozuna is the last man standing, and he has won the 1993 Royal Rumble. Both in this game along with in real life. No, sir, he actually did. They pushed him to the moon during that time. Anyway, we get to see a results. If you press left or right, you can actually see how the other people did. And the order goes in from the winner all the way to the last person eliminated, to the guy before that, and then the guy before that, and then the guy before that. So if I go to number two, it's going to go to the last man I eliminated, which happened to be Lex Luger, the narcissist. And as you can see, I didn't eliminate a lot of people. Bret Hart did some work for me. Unbeknownst to me while I was doing this recording. Mr. Perfect got one guy. I got as many as six. Shawn Michaels got Ted DiBiase. Well. And a lot of these guys did not last very long at all. <laughs> Randy Savage was the last man out. Oh, All right, the first man in, the first man out. You kind of have to get used to it. And we are now on the Sega Genesis version. And for the Sega Genesis version, I'm going to be playing as the guy who ended up being the runner-up in the real 1993 Royal Rumble. And that is going to be Randy Savage. Kind of dumb how he got eliminated, too. He actually did the elbow drop on Yokozuna after managing to knock him down. Knock him flat on his back. And then he went for the pinfall near the ropes. And Yokozuna kicked out with such force that it sent Randy Savage over the ropes and onto the floor outside the ring. That's not a very good thing, to be honest. And I kind of wish that he did win it. So we'd get one more WWF Championship title reign, maybe, before he left. But again, they were just so busy pushing Yokozuna to the moon and making him the mega star that they hoped to make him that it just wasn't to be. Interesting changes from the Super Nintendo version in the Sega Genesis. The tie-up bar is now pretty much flush with the energy meter. It's like right below your energy meter whenever you get into a tie-up. And when somebody is weak enough to be tossed over the ropes, it doesn't glow green or blue or anything. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even glow at all. So you really have to pay attention to the other people in the ring. So that way when it's time to eliminate somebody, you know it's somebody you can actually eliminate. And there goes Shawn Michaels, who I'm pretty sure is the first guy to get tossed out. Mm -hmm. 
Royal Rumble is a pretty fun mode. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a good reason why this game was called Royal Rumble. I mean, I don't think they really had a game named Royal Rumble. And Well, I guess 1993 was a pretty good time to do it. I guess they didn't expect the event to go on for as long as it did, but it has and it's become more and more legendary as time has passed. Even if some of the people who won it are people that we don't like, like 2015 Royal Rumble winner Roman Reigns, or 2014 winner Batista, or 2013 winner John Cena. Yeah, the last few Royal Rumbles as of the time of this recording have not really been what the fans have wanted. It doesn't seem to be. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. There have been some good ones, though. Like 2002's Triple H coming back from a busted quad after about nine months to come back with a vengeance. And there's Crush doing the uh, Cranium Crusher right there. Apparently you can do supers and, not supers, but special moves in the uh, Royal Rumble there. I've just never really seen a computer opponent do that until now. And there he goes again. Of course, he's going to get eliminated eventually. I win this one too. But it's still interesting to actually see that. And now I'm working on Hulk Hogan. That's something. And Bret Hart has been eliminated. I actually did a lot better on this Royal Rumble compared to the Super Nintendo version. And yet another Cranium Crush to Hulk Hogan. Well, that'll help me eliminate him now. As I was saying, I did a lot better on this one compared to the Super NES run. Primarily because I had a good idea of what I was doing the second time around. And we are now up to the final four. There's Savage, the model, Crush, and Lex Luger. Well, there goes the model. And there almost goes me getting run over by the narcissist there. Crush is going to go sometime. Of course, it won't be from the middle of the ring, though. And I was trying to go for Lex Luger with that dropkick, but I ended up getting Crush instead. Oh, well. He did, did the Cranium Crush one too many times anyway. And there he goes. So now it's just me and... Lex Luger again. Of course, we know how this is going to end, hopefully. And even on three, this can be pretty hard. I guess if you actually wanted a real fighting chance on the Genesis, you'd have to set the difficulty to one. And he is weakened, but I can't toss him out because I'm too close to the center of the ring. So I'm going to have to try from a little closer to ropes, and there we go. Luger's the last man out. Randy Savage wins the Rumble. And the result screen is just like that on Super Nintendo. You had to see the champion first, followed by the last person to be eliminated, followed by the person eliminated before that. Followed by, the guy, followed by the guy before that. Followed by the guy before that to reach number 12. And the results don't fade out when you press left or right. Instead, they just move to the side. I actually kind of like that over the fade out, to be honest. And the top four guys eliminated at least one person. I got rid out of as many as five, six, maybe? Man, Bret Hart did not do so well compared to Super Nintendo. Where's Duggan? I know he was the first in. There he is. He was number nine. But I got rid of him, like, two minutes later. Huh. <laughs> Number 10, and yet he managed to eliminate somebody. Of 
And that's pretty much it for Royal Rumble mode. I actually enjoyed doing this one. Next up will be some special matches where I do some views that were actually done in the first half of 1993. So join me next time where I actually do two matches just for fun. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!